In this video, we're going to go over all the interior tools and products and equipment and just things that I use on a daily basis to service our customers when we're doing the interior cleaning. So I'm going to try and cover everything. I think I have everything, but I might miss a few things. Regardless, just check the description box down below for links to all these products and tools and stuff that I'm mentioning so you can check it out and get more information about them. Now before we get started, I do want to say if you're looking to start your detailing business, if you want to go out there and make money, do not say he has all of this so I have to purchase exactly what he has. I have to purchase a $400 extractor, the $200 steamer, the uh, $100 drill bit and I have to, you know, do not do that. If you're limited on funds, if you're still trying to figure out if you want to do this as a business, if you just want to get started right now, spend the least amounts of money to get the most essential tools and products and just go out there and do something like that's I literally started off with just like uh, with just this brush and APC and towels and I did four interiors like with like just like a handful of brushes so before you start looking and you're doing hours of research and you're seeing what's the best extractor what's the best interior towel what's the best brushes what's the best cleaner stop doing all that just pick a handful of things order them and just go out and do something to actually just get the experience of actually detailing for money anyways so we're gonna start off with the big items I have the extractor and the McCulloch 1385 steamer this aqua Provac extractor I think I've been using it now for I think like a year a year and a half I've used it at a minimum 100 times across so many vehicles now and for the price point it's 400 bucks it's a great deal if you're just starting off if you are you know working at a personal vehicle or a small compact vehicle like I am and you don't have that much room this is a great option because it, it doesn't have a, a heater to it which I don't mind because again I'm I, I like it more for the size of it not so much of like the other features that it's missing but uh, that's what I have. I use it on just horrendous interiors and it's worked great because it's not just about the extractor itself. It's about the extractor, right? But it's about the process, the chemicals, are you inspecting, doing it multiple times. So there's plenty of things that go into, this is not the best, but for what it is, it fits me perfectly. Next, we have the McCulloch 1385 steamer. This is my second or third unit over the last... <sighs> I don't know, three, four years now. And I can actually purchase that one locally at Fry's, which is why I keep on using that one. They have multiple models, like the uh, 1285, I have no idea, I'll just link them down below, that are che cheaper models. Like the VX5000 can run circles around it. A lot of steamers can run circles around those type of steamers, but the price point, accessibility, like just starting off, it's great, go for it. I was looking at the Vapor steamers and the uh, Dupre, Dupre steamers, and I was looking at that, I think it was like a, like a thousand or two thousand bucks. Great units, absolutely would crush this steamer, but you, I, I couldn't get it just because of, one, the size, it, it, it took a good portion of my interior, and two, um, the generator that I have, I don't have enough power to generate, to keep those machines running, so I stuck with the McCulloch 1385 steamer, I've been using it, it's not the strongest, it's, you know, it's not going to give you a lot of pressure, you're not going to clean the engine bay with it, but for small areas around the interior, two thumbs up, works absolutely great, and again, I've been using that one for hundreds of times across so many, like dozens, probably hundreds of interiors in the past year, so it works for what it is. Next is, I'm using these gloves from Kirkland. Uh, I got, I get them at um, Costco, yeah, Costco or Sam's, which one is it? I don't know, uh, but I get these, they're specifically made, Costco Sam specific, I think it's Costco specifically sells these, um, as well as their Kirkland towels. These are the ones that I use primarily for the interior. It's a pack of like, I don't know, it's a lot for, and it's relatively cheap. So I buy the, my gloves and the towels that I use for interiors at Costco. And I think that's the only place to sell them. And Amazon, you can purchase them. I just clicked the camera. You can purchase them on, on Amazon as well, uh, which links will be down below, but they are cheaper at Costco. So check out that locally. Then these are just some, uh, I think these are eight gallon trash bags, super small. Um, I know some people take bins around. It just, that's not, I don't really find that necessary to actually bring a bin around. So just eight gallon bags. Um, and they're the Febreze ones, so they actually smell like Febreze. Uh, so those help out a lot because there's a lot of times in interiors where you just gotta move trash or like just things that aren't, that they don't need to keep, just throw them away. 
Uh, and I always bring the trash home. I don't tr dump it in their trash can. If they say, hey, throw it in the trash can, yes, but I'm not gonna say, hey, can I put this? Ah, it just, that's just what I do. I, I bring it home and then dump it in the trash can here. Uh, next, I'm using this DeWalt uh, cordless drill from DeWalt with this brush that, I don't know, drill brush, I guess that's the company name, and then this other drill brush. This one is to remove the debris. It works at this. This has definitely increased my productivity. Removing uh, debris, pet hair, uh, sand from cloth or from cloth material, not leather, just cloth material. And then I use this to agitate on cloth material like floor mats, seats, sometimes door panels, uh, and things of that nature. This has been a big upgrade. It's helped out a lot. It's decreased time, decreased fatigue, decreased like, well, fatigue. So getting tired and using elbow grease like this has eliminated a lot of that. I think it's like in total, I think like 110 bucks. You buy, you buy this unit here, and I think you buy these separately. Links will be down below. But 110 uh, ish bucks probably. Great, great investment for sure. Uh, and it brings, and it comes with two batteries, so that's also useful, and a battery charger, so that's very useful. Um, next was we have this. These are both super clean, diluted 10 to 1. I also have a gallon in my vehicle diluted at 4 to 1 when needed. Uh, I use a pump sprayer. This one's a new one that I just bought. I have three now. Uh, this pump sprayer is from IK. IK? IK? Uh, this is the IK 1.5 multi sprayer or multi 1.5 sprayer. It's not the foam one. I have the foam one, but this is not the foam one. I don't use a foam one for interior. I just use a multi 1.5 non-foam for the interior and specifically when I'm using this I'm using it on larger areas like the floor mats the carpeting and the seats specifically 100% of the time on cloth material I do not use this pump sprayer at all for leather for the dashboard the center console the door panels nothing of that for those areas I will be using just a 32 ounce regular trigger on the door panels center console leather just because that outputs a lot of liquid and I just don't need that much anywhere else aside from cloth material on large surfaces and then to remove red stains I don't encounter too many red stains but just occasionally I do I use this red zone ready now with when it comes to something like this don't look online I'll have it I'll try to have it linked down below but uh, go to your local janitorial or carpet cleaning supply store and you can purchase a lot of specific interior cleaning products, right? Like for gum, for uh, coffee, for uh, um, for red stains. Uh, just because um, they, they probably have more interior specific products than what you'll find on AutoGeek, on Amazon, Chemical Guys, Adams, Shine Supply, like because they just have a lot more chemicals to, to play with. Oh, well, that they need for interiors and, and home and, and, and commercial buildings. So go there, find one locally. Uh, but this one I use specifically for red stains. Uh, this jailbreak here is used to remove uh, ba -ba 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 gum. What is it used for? Anything adhesive like gum. That's actually the two main things I use for gum and adhesive. Uh, adhesive for it, whether it's on the cloth material or on the um, leather or on the glass as well. That's what I use it for. I also have. Um, goof off which i forgot that one so i do have goof off but uh, i specifically use it more for the exterior not the interior because they both have not a harsh smell but it is a strong smell and i prefer this one just because it's a gel as opposed to a liquid or a um, aerosol so although you could use it for the interior for adhesive as well like let's say for the sticker or for any stickers you could use this but i always default to this one for the interior exterior i do use this one uh, so just to know that next we have the interior tool bag this one that carries all the um, brushes that i have i used to have a lot more but i cleaned it out recently because we just over time you see what you, what you use and what you don't use so as you can see, we have, and this one's broken. These are the deets. Oh, look, it broke. I need to get it. I need to order some new ones. These are the, oh, there it goes. These are the Detail Buddy, uh, Detail Buddy brushes. I think it comes with a set of five. I use the two biggest ones. And then this is, I think, Detail Factory. I have no idea. I'll link them down below. And this one just comes, also comes with four or five, but I only use the two biggest brushes because our big brush right here is used for the, the the medium sized ones are used to um, to agitate, right? So we spray the cleaner here into the into the brush, or we spray onto the surface, and we agitate with this brush. The bigger brush is used once we wipe it down, and in the in the crevices, in the cracks and crevices, and in the in the, in the crannies that we can't reach with the towel, we use this to dry it out. So essentially, 
This is the agitation brush and this is the drying brush. Think about it like a towel, but just in a brush form where it's gonna get into those cracks and crevices that we can't reach. So that's all we have, two sets, two brushes of these, two sets, two sets of two brushes. And then we put them, we always keep them on one set on each side, that way it's just, we can keep track of them easier and it fits perfectly right here. This bag is from Nick, uh, McGuire Nicholas. Very, very, very handy to just haul around your interior tools and products. When we get out the van, we'll just grab some towels and put them in here. Uh, over here in the Ziploc bag, we have a few dedicated window glasses. I have it in a bag. It, it, it breaks quite often and I probably won't keep it in here too long. I just, just because we try to keep it in this pouch here and like sand or dirt or water, we want to kind of eliminate it touching the, the towel here so they can stay clean. There's three multiple towels that I'm just kind of trying, well, I'm trying out this this one here. Um, these are the ones I, 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 I'll vary between this, this blue one and this lighter blue one. Those, these two are waffle weave towels. I think those are kind of the, the I have like four other towels that I'm gonna be testing out. Um, but I always kind of do default to waffle weave towels for glass. But I'll make an updated video on glass towels in the future, but just know that I keep them in here and try to close it as best as I can and just kind of keep it in this little pouch here to protect it from the outside elements. Um, next is, let's go to the pet hair brushes. Now I used to have a, just a black, do I still have it here? It was just a black pet hair brush and let me, yes, right. It's right here. I have a lot of pet hair, a lot of um, interior brushes that are just kind of sitting there idling, not doing anything because I either don't use them or haven't tested them out yet. I see this one. Um, you can buy this like 12 bucks at Petco or Walmart or something. Um, you see how it's kind of flagged already? It just over time they, they get worn down. I don't use this anymore. It's uh, just not, not practical anymore. There's a lot of other great pet hair brushes. So I specifically use them from Lily. Lily brush and they make absolutely amazing, uh, amazing pet hair brushes. This one's I've kind of put my, I've been using it a little bit too rough and it's ripped on me, but it's, I mean, I've been beating it up a lot, so it, it, there's no surprise if it's like that, but these brushes are by far one of the best pet hair brushes that I've used. All the links will be down below. Um, but before I use, like if we go into a interior and there's a lot of pet hair, uh, our default will actually be using this first to loosen up all the debris, blow it out, vacuum it out, and whatever doesn't come out, we'll start using start using these brushes in combination with that drill, and just to see, just to get you know, just to be most effective. I I have a pumice stone coming in. I'll be trying that out because a lot of you recommended that, so I'll be trying that out. Uh, but yeah, for for pair hair brushes, I would just recommend like start off with like one of these, it's like ten bucks, uh, super great. And if you have like a dog or a pet at home, an animal at home, uh, keep one like they're super small. You could keep them like one in your car, one in your room, one in your pocket or your purse or your bag, what, what have you. But they're super compact and portable, so that's why I, I'm a big fan of these. Next is we have these two bristle brushes. I mean these these all have bristles. These all these are our brushes, but. We literally like when we say pass me a bristle brush, we know we mean this one. Like that like when I say a big brush, like when it's me and Anthony working, when I say hey, and like we're just we're like I'm just somewhere in the vehicle, I say, hey, pass me a big brush, we know that we mean pass me one of these big brushes. When we say, hey, pass me a, a medium brush, um, we know that we mean one of these brushes. It doesn't matter which one, just one of these brushes. When I say pass me the white bristle brush, we know we mean this one. When we say pass me the the, um, um, the black bristle brush, the big, uh, no, the, yeah, the black bristle brush, it's this one. When it's the upholstery brush, it's this one. They're literally all the same. They're all upholstery brushes, right? But it just, we just put their own words to them so we know. We don't want to say like, pass me the detail buddy big one or pass me the, so it just, you know, if you're working with someone, just come with your own little, you know, your own little way of uh, identifying what brushes are which brushes. But uh, we, we don't really use this one too often just because it's rather soft. Um, as you can tell, it's already being smushed here. But we, and it's crazy because I've been using this one for at least like three, four years now. I, I ordered another pack of like 10 of them that have them on both sides. But I mean, it's crazy how much these two have held up. I've been using this like way longer than this one. but. Um, yeah, this one to get like between the seams in the specific areas, uh, center console, this one helps out a lot. So this one has been a big saver and it's, it's used heavily in interior cleanings. This one, not a much, but we have it. It's there if we need it. It's, you know, rather soft. Um, so we don't really pull it out that much, but it's there when needed. And I try to put these hanging so we can see exactly where they're at. 
Okay, so uh, last two, three years here on YouTube, I've always been using this brush. If you go back however many videos, actually any videos, you'll see that I'm using this upholstery brush right here. Uh, but a problem is that you do, a lot of the bristles do come out like very easily. For the longest, I didn't mind, like literally for the long, like two, three years, I didn't mind. Like it just, I, it, just it is what it is. But then I switched over to this nano skin brush. Um, and I use this for the, 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 uh, the interior now. I still carry this one just because we don't have two of these. Um, but whenever I do need to manually agitate with a brush, I will be using this nano skin brush, not this one. And um, I'll link to some other brushes down below too where it's actually like a tire brush, but you can use it on interiors. Like it's still just stiff bristles that can be used on anything. So um, yeah, so I'll use this for when I'm manually agitating, I'll just use this one. Uh, but I'll have some more links down below if you're interested. Uh, next for, so for this, it's it's for cloth, again, cloth, cloth material. So seats, floor mats, carpeting, for the most part. Uh, for these brushes here, these are from Chemical Guys, and as you can tell, they're smushed. I try to keep, like, to, to feather these back out, but after a while, because we smush them so many times, it just, it's starting to flatten out, so I order, I'm gonna order more, just to have some on standby. Absolutely fantastic brushes. These are specifically from Chemical Guys, um, and we use this for leather, door panels, center console, dashboard, steering wheel, plastic and leather. That's essentially what it comes down to, plastic and leather. There's no way we'd use this on carpeting or cloth material because it's just way too soft. Like it's too weak to actually get a thorough agitation on, on cloth material. Uh, next is we have two more items here. I have this plastic razor specifically used for either um, removing adhesive in combination with this gel. You spread it around with a towel and then you kind of chip, chip away at it with this plastic razor. Or if needed, like maybe there's some stuck on um, gum, glue, or anything that's stuck on in combination with this too, we'll use it to pick it out. Uh, that, that's really it for the most part that we use this plastic razor for. And I actually purchased this one at the rodeo, not because the only the at the Houston rodeo because that's the only place they had it, but it was just there, so I purchased it. But this is a dental pick for your teeth, but um, obviously we don't use this for teeth cleaning. Uh, we use this for leather. So there's we've actually had multiple cases for this. So you know when you open the door and you can kind of put your fingers in on that door handle, there's a little opening there. If they're stuck on gum or dirt, we can use this to pick at it. Um, we use this specific or a lot of times for the leather seats to kind of just kind of butt nudge the, the debris out of those holes sometimes. Uh, so this comes in handy a, a lot, as you can see there. I think at the Houston Rodeo, it was like, I think it was like nine bucks. I was gonna wait to order on Amazon, but I was like, I was already there. Let me just pick it up. So I just, I just got it here. I don't know if you can find it cheaper. I'll have some links down below. I didn't even check if you can get it cheaper. I was just like, I'm right here. Might as well just get it right now and be done with it. Okay, next we can look up there for the air mover. Um, I don't, if it's, if I see the weather, if I check the weather and it doesn't look like it's gonna be, um, like there's not a lot of humidity or it's not, like it's gonna be sunny or relatively sunny or warm, I won't take the air mover because we're outside. 90% of the time, the sun is hot enough, It's the, the, the air is cool enough to where it's just gonna dry the interior on its own within a relatively short time frame. Like if it's relatively warm outside, within four hours of the detail, like we start at nine, or let's say we start, yeah, let's say we start at nine and we end like at 11, 12, one. By the time we're done, the vehicle is 85 to 90% dry if it's relatively warm outside. When it's not relatively warm, when there's overcast, when it's kind of cold, that's when the drying process takes way longer. And that's when we'll take that to, to, to speed up the process. Um, and if it's really cold or like it's raining, it's not gonna dry. Like even if I put that air mover on, it's hardly gonna budge anything. And we ran into that. And you know, that, that's coming to com in, in communication with the customer saying, hey, look, just to let you know, like because it's not hot outside, it's gonna take longer to dry, yada, yada, yada. But you wanna communicate that with the customer. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so we'll take it if, again, like I said, for the weather wise, or if we have multiple vehicles and we know we're just gonna be banging them out one after the other, and we want to increase that speed, that speed time, that dry time. Um, so even if it's relatively warm outside, but we're gonna finish re relatively quick, then I'll put those on the floor mats of the seats just to hurry up the speeding process as much as, just to, you know, dry it as much as we can before we leave. So that comes in handy too. Uh, I think that was like a hundred, like 80 bucks or a hundred bucks. Uh, not the most important thing. Like if you know it's always warm in your area and the interior dries relatively well, 
you know, I wouldn't put that as a priority, but if you do need help with the drying process or what have you, it, it, it's a good tool to have. I don't always take it out all the time. Um, the next thing we have is, although I don't, I use this for both the interior and the exterior, and it's actually just a five gallon container of water. Um, because that extractor holds, I think, like, uh, two, three gallons of water. And there's times where we just run out, and instead of, like, going to the water hose, or maybe we're, we're not at a home location, we're at, like, a, a parking lot or an apartment, um, we'll just use that water container, fill up the extractor, and then we just, that's it. Like, it, we just carry five gallons of water, um, just, just to have five gallons of water. And if we're using the works um, pressure washer, electrical pressure washer, then we'll put the hose in there and just suck the water out of that gallon, out of that container. And it's, it's come in very, and it's a very compact, it doesn't take up too much space. Uh, it's five gallons of water, so it can get heavy depending on how much you're carrying, like if you're in a small vehicle, of course. Uh, but for our situation, for what we do, it works absolutely great. Um, that, I've had no, no problems with it. And, uh, yeah, it works out for, um, for, like, if you need to fill up a, a water bucket for the exterior, or like I said, if I need to refill the extractor water, we just use that five gallon container of water. Next, which is not shown here, uh, is the, uh, Metro Vacuum Blow. Now, on this one, it, the one that I purchased was expensive because it came with all the accessories. I think it was like 340, 380, something around there. Um, 80% of the accessories I don't even use. Like I just use the hose, ziz, and the um, straight nozzle attachment and the like the uh, bushy one. Like that's all it. Like it's it was a lot of like unnecessary things that that came with that. At least for my use case. Um, but yeah, so I don't I. 98% of the time, I'm only using the vacuum. I hardly ever use the um, the blower on it, just because. Just because, like literally, just because, like it doesn't take too much time to just take off the vacuum, to, uh, remove the bag, and hook up the hose to the to the other side. But just going through that, I just I I, har I hardly ever use it for the blower uh, because we have a dedicated blower. Even though I'm not really a fan of the Works blower, we do have a dedicated one. So, um, but if if you do just want to minimize it and you and you don't mind, then you could use it for the blower and you could use it for the vacuum. Uh, and the blower is for like you know if there's a lot of debris, pet hair, just hook it up to the blower. And blow it out. And I've done it a couple of times, but I just, you know, I primarily use it for the vacuum and because it's compact. And as you'll see, it's commonality between some of these machines is that it's just, it's small, it's compact, it fits in this small van that I have. Ba -bum. Yep, I also don't have it here. For the windows, glass, last touch ups, chrome, and like just to touch it up, uh, we use Optimum No Rinse diluted as a clay lube, which I believe is 256 to 1 in a 32 ounce spray bottle. So that's what we use to clean the windows, glass, mirrors, chrome. Door jams, um, yeah, and same thing. We're using, uh, we're still going to be using the Kirkland towels, um, but just for those other areas um, that I mentioned. Um, with on the glasses, it's with glass towels. And then for dressing the interior, we're using Meguiar's Hyper Dressing Diluted Four to One. I don't have a specific dressing applicator. I had one, but eh, I just use a towel now. So I just spray onto either the door panel. Um, that's the only one where I actually spray onto the surface is the door panel. But other than that, I always spray into the towel and then distribute the, the product on whatever surface that I'm cleaning. So Meguiar's Hyper Dressing Deleted 4 to 1 with a towel. I have quite a few dressings now, so I'm trying out a few. I'll be making some videos on that. But for now, as of right now, currently I'm using Meguiar's Hyper Dressing. And that's going to wrap up most of the interior products that I use, I believe. Again, check out the description down below. I'll, if I forgot any, I'll add them there. It's actually, I mean, I feel like it's, it's actually not a lot of things. Like if you're just starting, you're like, wow, that's a lot. This has accumulated over time. For the longest, it was like, it was just this. Like you might be saying, oh, well, I don't have 400 bucks to spend on an extractor. Well then don't, that's fine. Like you could spend 200 bucks getting like, uh, I think like probably all of this and doing an interior plus the towels. You could probably spend 200 bucks like on the, on this here, like this product, this product, super clean or an APC that you can con that you can dilute these brushes like one set of brushes like you can spend like 200 bucks and probably get a few other things and you're off to the races like you can start servicing vehicles like you can start charging and getting results for customers don't think like oh okay well let me work another three weeks and let me put you know 125 dollars aside on every check and I won't be able to start until I have that extractor no, just you start off with some basic things, with the essential items, and progress as you go. Don't say, oh, well, I have to wait until I get the steamer. And, oh, you know what? I can't really start because it's going to take longer if I don't have the extractor. And, oh, well, I really need that drill brush because he said it makes life so much easier. And it is like, 
agitating manually with a brush on five seats and four floor mats is way more tough, harder, and you'll be way more fatigued than using this on five seats and four floor mats. But that doesn't mean you need to wait, like, just go out and do it, like, just take action and just go out there. But that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, feedback, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll do another video like on the paint correction or the exterior, just to update it in 2019. So I'll see you on the next one.